guys and welcome to the chroma side of youtube today i have been playing with my alcohol inks um you know just taking a small break from pouring i uh do have some new things that i want to try with you all um <clears throat> uh, i actually went and bought some iridescent paint that i'm going to talk about at the end of this video but right now i want to get crack lacking with my alcohol inks so what what you see right here is a new thing that I've seen a few other YouTubers um, do on um, on YouTube. Uh, what makes mine different is that I haven't seen anyone do it with the metallic, um, the uh, Jacquard Rich Gold Metallic Alcohol Ink. You always have to shake it really, really well before you use it, but it is worth the shaking because it's awesome. So what it does is it gives my rose that I've done on my tile a metallic sheen. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me stand up and take a look. Oop. Here, I'll, I'll focus. Do you see that? Really pretty. I love the blue on that. And these colors are much more rich. Hold it down there. Yeah. These colors are much richer. Than I thought they would be purple purple came out really cool the gold really popped on this one really 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 like that and the red the red I came I thought was really neat because the gold kind of broke up on that one but I really like it and I was playing around with a different technique a couple of different techniques and I accidentally splashed some of the, uh, I don't know if that's, it looks like alcohol. It might be blending solution, but it looks like alcohol. I don't know, I was playing around with both of them. And I actually did it on both these two. So I purposely did it on this one because I kind of like the imperfection look of it. Uh, it's one of my favorite things about alcohol ink. It doesn't have to be perfect. So to finish this coaster set that I have started... I'm going to do a green, and I'm going to do, of course, the gold to keep it all consistent, but I do want a green one. And uh, a lot of people use those finger cots um, to protect their fingers from the, from the colors from staining. Um, I just took one of my gloves and cut the fingers off, you guys. I'm not going to go out and buy finger cots when I can just take one of my gloves and cut the finger off and have the same thing. So here that is. And so the things that you will need if you want to make a coaster set like this are these little tiles. They're just ceramic tiles that I bought at Home Depot for 16 cents a piece. They come in a big box. You can buy a hundred for 16 bucks. Which is awesome because that's what I did and I now have tons and tons of tiles to play with. Some sort of alcohol ink. I got my little homemade finger condom on. I know they're not called finger condoms, but that's what I call them. Anyway, so let's get cracking. Now, um, I just kind of make sure my edges are covered just because um, I like the full tile to be covered. So I'm just kind of going around like that. And that's plenty of ink to get started with. And I just kind of make sure that all of my edges are covered before I start my flower. Because, I don't know, I'm, I'm just picky like that. Making sure. Now I'm just going in a big circle. I should, probably should open this first. I'm going to put this guy over there because... uh. I put the red cap on my gold earlier and about died. So basically, I'm just kind of moving this around in a huge circle and I'm literally trying to do it not even. And I'm pushing down really hard, like really, really hard. Okay. Now it's kind of getting hard for me to move around. So I'm going to do another lay, another spot of green. Because I really, really, really want that green to be 
the main focal color in this flower. I think I'm going to turn it this way. You get some petals going over here. Now it's getting hard to move around again. So now I'm going to go in with this gold and see how it reacts to the green. And don't tilt it over on the other ones. I probably should have moved those guys out of the way. I'm being generous uh, with this first go round um, because I like it to be super pigmented. Um, now I'm pushing really, really hard because I want that dark green to build up layers to kind of mimic the. Um, the petals um I also like the thing is with this um I kind of think it looks like a geode as well which is probably why I like it so much and I think I want a little more of that gold if you notice I'm using a lot less of the gold than I am the green but you can see that now I have a gold petal layer I'm just going to hold on just a second and let that dry a little second. And then I'm going to add my green back in so that it can be. And this is literally what you do. I mean, seriously, guys, you guys can totally do that. Just tiles and some alcohol inks and you've got beautiful, beautiful, beautiful works of art. Um... I really, really enjoy this. I'm going to add a little gold now. This is really fun. It's kind of like finger painting, but with alcohol inks. And I'm going to go in with the green. Before that gold dries up too much. Because I want a sheen on the green. And now I'm going to press down really hard and build up that layer. And if you notice, I keep going in ovals, but I keep changing direction of the oval because I really, really, really want it to resemble a little bit of a flower. Let that dry just a second so that it can build up. And I'm adding less and less the closer I get to the center. I'm adding less and less of the ink. Now I really am going to let that one dry pretty well. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to clean off my gold little spigot here because you don't want it to dry up. Not gonna rub that one in too much. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna put one little drop of blending solution on there. And you see how it just kinda opens that up and pushes some of that, um, some of that gold out. I'm just gonna let it work for a minute. Now, we've got like a seriously green middle of the flower. 
and instead of going in with my finger again, I'm going to start using my, um, the back of my, uh, this, this is just a cheap old brush that I got from Michaels and the back has this angle on it. So I find it's really, really easy to, uh, do this method with because it, um, I can, I can get a good angle on it and it allows me to do smaller circles with my colors. So I just kind of, on my little work surface, I just kind of get some of that gold going. And now I can do the smaller circles. And I can kind of make them imperfect on purpose. Okay. And it kind of helps me do the, the middle of the flower. Yeah. And now I'm happy with that. I think that looks very beautiful. It definitely looks like a flower to me. So I'm think I'm going to be done with this. Um, so I'm going to take my, because every, all the other ones have imperfections in them, I'm going to take my alcohol and I'm just going to put a drip somewhere, anywhere it wants to land. There we go. And there you go. Now they will all match. Because I, I really do like the fact that they'll be imperfect. All right. So there you have it. That is my tutorial for, well, tutorial. Huh. That is me showing you how I do my, um, my alcohol ink rose uh, coasters. Let me see if I can't get them all into the frame here. Do like that and wipe up those inks that I just squirted on the surface. This is the green lid. I try to keep the lids super together because I don't want any mixing of the colors. So I always wipe off that one too before I close it up. So there you have it. I really, really, really like them. I'm gonna take you guys down and give you guys a close up. Let me take my guy off of here. See, no, but of course I got it right there. So <laughs> anyway, here we go. So these are my alcohol ink coasters. And I really, really love them. This one's still drying, but this is the one that we just made. Let me see if I can't get it to focus. There we go. Very cool. There was one that I made earlier. The Baja Blue one. I love that one. It's so pretty. And the purple. So that's what I've been working on here. Um, I also, like I said, I've worked on some different techniques. Um, <clears throat> let's see if you guys can catch. See, I've got a little gold on the top of that, but if you looked right at it, it doesn't look like there's a lot of gold on it at all. That's really fun. Here's another one. Gold is on there too, but when you look straight at it, it looks like pink. <clears throat> so, I've been having a lot of fun with my alcohol inks. 
Now, what I wanted to tell you guys was I actually went out and bought some PBO Studio Acrylic High Viscosity Paints. Um, and I did a swatch here. And if, let's see, there you go. See the iridescence of them? So I'm really excited to play around with them. And I have them all swatched and written down here so that you guys could see the color perfectly and all that good stuff. So I'm excited to do a pour with these. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm really, really, really excited about these, these uh, alcohol links. I can't wait to do some more stuff with them um, and learn some different techniques. But uh, yeah, so if you guys like what I do, please give me a thumbs up for a like the subscribe button, and the bell for notifications when I put new videos up. And I hope you guys have a wonderful afternoon. Thank y'all for watching, and Happy New Year! Bye, y'all. Hey, thank you so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed what you just watched, please hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up for a like, and hit the bell. That'll give you notifications when I post new videos. I really enjoyed painting today. And I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you would get inspired to do all types of things. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye, y'all.